Hey what's up YouTube welcome to top 10 so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can boot your Raspberry Pi using a USB drive this is a stepwise process so do not skip any portion and watch till the end of this video so for this first of all you'll need to download an OS for your Raspberry Pi you can get it from the official website of Raspberry Pi that is raspberrypi.org I'll be giving link in the description as well. I am using Raspbian JC Lite. Then you need to download a software called Itzer. This software bonds the OS in the USB drive or pen drive. The next step is to plug in the USB stick to your PC or laptop and format it. Before burning the USB stick with OS, you need to format it. And for formatting, this part is the best option. It is the inbuilt little tool of Windows PC, so why not use it? To open up this part, just run the command prompt and type disk part. Then a window like this will pop up. Just type list disk as shown in the screen then all of your available disks will be displayed here be sure that you don't select the wrong disk or you lose all of your data on your hard drive in the next process here in my case two disks are being shown disk 0 and disk 1 and the USB stick I had just inserted is disk 1 you can decide which one is the disk that you want to burn by looking at its size. My internal hard drive is 465 GB and the pen drive is 15 GB. So here I am selecting disk 1. So type select disk 1. Disk 1 is selected disk. Now you want to format disk 1. So type clean. Disk 1 is clean so we want to create a primary partition for this just type create primary partition as shown in the screen the partition will be created and then just exit the disk part. Now just open up the USB drive and format it using the normal format tool on Windows. Right click and click on format to format. Then in its file system select FAT32 and give it a name that's volume level I'm giving pi over here now click on start format once the format is complete open the Ether software and select the image image is actually the OS for the pi that we had downloaded in the first step Make sure that correct drive, that is the USB drive that we just formatted, is selected. You might need to change the destination drive where you want to flash your OS. After making selection of the USB drive, click flash and it will start flashing. It will take around 5 minutes. I'm just fast forwarding this. After the flashing is complete, our USB drive will be automatically ejected from the system. So you need to pull it out and insert it again as few files need changes. Then only our USB drive will show up. After this, open the USB drive and create a new file and name the file as SSH. Make sure that this file doesn't have any extension. This is done in order to enable SSH at the very first boot. Then go to 
config.txt and open it. Go to the very beginning of the text and press enter once and type program underscore usb underscore boot underscore mode equals to 1 exactly as shown in the screen. This line of code will allow the OS to be able to boot from the USB stick. Save the document and now safely remove the USB disk and connect it to the Raspberry Pi and power it on. Now connect the Pi to your network through an Ethernet cable as Wi-Fi option is unavailable right now. Now open up the prompt and type ping raspberrypi.local. We are pinging to make sure that the Raspberry Pi is working and the connection is alright. So here, no loss means it's working. Now since I have given static IP to my Pi in my local connection, I want to ping it once and it seems all fine. Now open the potty configuration and in the space for host name type your Pi's IP. It's 10.10.10.100 in my case. The default port will be 22. Connection type SSH and all other values as shown in the screen. Now click open and the screen exactly like this will pop up and in login as our username will be pi and password is raspberry. Now we are logged in and good to go. So guys, our Raspberry Pi is all up and functional. So that's all guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch videos like this in the future as well, then please consider clicking that red subscribe button so that we could stay connected. Please make sure that we are connected in other social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Link will be down below in the description. And if you have any queries or confusions or any suggestions then please write down below in the comment section. We'll get to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Have a great day.